love driving in the rain. It's the most exciting thing in the world. Well, I was just showing them earlier how excited I was because the sun was out and I had to wear sunglasses. Yeah. And now what? I know. Of course, we can't come to practice without Xander wanting to practice as well. He made a promise. Yeah, he did. Guess what, guys? It's the weekend. At least it is for you. It's still Friday for me, but the sun is out, and that makes me happy. I have missed it so much. It has rained the last four days, and guess what? We're getting more rain tonight. Boo. Um, we do have baseball practice tonight, and I'm pretty sure that it's in an indoor batting cage, which, if that's the case, it'll be good because it won't get canceled, obviously. Um, you know, this is a new team that we're on, so I guess this is going to be the every week schedule with having batting cage practice on Fridays and then um, fielding practice on Wednesdays, but we didn't get to do that because of the rain. I know a lot of people love Fridays and obviously with my cake business, I'm not a big fan of Friday. <laughs> I saw this meme the other day that said, yay, it's Friday, never mind, I'm a cake decorator. So true because Friday is the busiest day. We have to get our orders done and out the door before the weekend. Um, I have two cakes I need to work on today. Uh, one of them is for Penny for her birthday tomorrow. So if I don't get to that one today, I can do it tomorrow because I don't have much going on prior to her party tomorrow night. I'm at the store now because Jacob ordered one of those things off of Amazon. Those little balls that you roll around and make ice cream with. I can't remember the name of it, but he saw it on Carl and Ginger's a Lancelot channel, their family channel, and um, loved it. And so he decided to use some of his own money to buy it on Amazon. And it comes in today. Ever since he placed the order two days ago, he has like hasn't stopped talking about it. I can't wait till Friday. I can't wait till Friday. So he's like, Mom, will you please get all the ingredients that I need to make it at the store so that whenever I get home from school, I can make it? I'm like, yes, that's fine. Hopefully it comes in by the time he gets home from school. Um, because like I said, we have practice tonight and we need to eat, go eat dinner prior to practice. So if it doesn't come in before he gets home, then he probably won't be able to make it until we get home after practice tonight. And I'm sure he'll be a little bit bummed. So I don't know all the ingredients that I need because obviously I don't have it in front of me to see the instruction manual, but I looked it up online. Hopefully I will get it all so I don't have to come back later because I have a busy day. I need to get my cakes done. Oh yeah, I was also going to say that um, I haven't seen Eric today since he left for work prior to me getting up this morning, but I did talk to him on the phone a couple of hours ago and he seemed to be doing better today than he has the last couple of days, which makes me so happy, but we will see once he gets home but apparently um, there was an issue at work that they've been working on for like a week and he was able to resolve it today which obviously makes him feel like he's doing something and he's being productive and that always makes everybody feel better I know it does for me like if I have like a list of things to do like I try to make myself a list of things to do so that I can cross them off and it makes me feel that I'm doing something and that I'm being productive another cake bites the dust this is all buttercream except for the name and the number, obviously. So that is cake number... 322,000 or so. I think it was cake number four this week, right? Yeah. No, it could be five. I know, there's another, I'm doing like a construction theme cake that's in the outside fridge. I have to do a few more things to that that I delivered tomorrow. I'll show you that later. And then I have pennies, which will be cake number six. And then I'll be done for the weekend until Sunday. Then I have to bake four miniature cakes to do like a wedding taste testing on Monday, which I've never really done this before. I'm not quite sure how to do it, um, but I'm kind of excited because I've, I, I go back and forth on wanting to do wedding cakes. Like obviously I can make good money on them, but they're more stressful and I just, I have a fear of dealing with a bridezilla, which I don't want to do. So I have that Sunday, um, and then I'm meeting them on Monday, and then I have like four cakes next week. So <laughs> cake business is definitely starting to pick up. It was a little dead right before Christmas, and it was even dead even a couple of weeks after Christmas. But I am responding to emails and messages and daily and giving quotes and sending out invoices. So it's definitely picking up, which is obviously a good thing, but it's exhausting at the same time. Guess what, guys? It's raining in the city of Houston once again. 
Yay. I love driving in the rain. It's the most exciting thing in the world. Well, I was just showing them earlier how excited I was because the sun was out and I had to wear sunglasses. Yeah. And now look. Like, I know. Seriously. It's only like 5.30 right now. We're on our way to go eat before Jacob's <laughs> batting practice. Thankfully, it's indoors. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of lightning in the area, so I know if it was out of the rain, we wouldn't even be doing it either way. <laughs> Guess where we're at. What? Wow, it's really dark. There we go. We're at Pi 5. It's pretty close to where he practices. So we might have to come here every Friday. That would be a bummer, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> We'd actually probably get tired of it. Probably. But it's pizza. Why would you ever get tired of pizza? got tired of Chick-fil-A. During baseball season, we eat a lot of Chick-fil-A. This looks yummy. Trying to get Jacob to talk to his teammates, but he won't do it. <laughs> you hear me talking about you? You're gonna be running laps, dude. Talk to your teammates. Bye. 
course, we can't come to practice without Xander wanting to practice as well. Good job, buddy. Do some warm things in your warm up. Right now, turn your back side and keep your side stepping out. Get the other side. <laughs> Seems like it's so far from him. Ooh, that was a little wild. Hey dude, how's that new ice cream maker you got? Oh, it hasn't came in. Yes, it hasn't come in yet. Why? It's supposed to be delivered by 8 o'clock. It is today? Yeah, but it's past 8 o'clock, dude. It's like 9 o'clock. <laughs> and it still says it's out for delivery. Wait, it's delivered? No, they're saying like it's on the truck out for delivery. Oh, so it's coming? I, that's according to Amazon, okay, yes, but if they door. come, no, if they come knock on my door after nine o'clock, they're in trouble. So I'm going to check the door one last time for the night. And guess what? It's still not there. What the heck is going on? Amazon's usually pretty good about delivering their packages when they say they're going to. What are you doing? I'm watching basketball. Old man. I'm watching Aliens <laughs> versus Predator. It's basketball like back and forth. nine o'clock and your father's I watched my couch. rockets get destroyed. Well, at least I didn't have to watch them completely because we went to baseball practice and that was that was good. I like watching baseball practice. It makes me feel better watching Jacob swing the bat and playing casual Xander for a little bit. So what was so funny at the end is that his coach said that he wants him to do. Uh, <laughs> he said it would be great if uh, they could just hit every single day seven days a week instead of one day a week instead of one day a week and he's like and he, when he was growing up he had a hitting station set up in his garage and amy looked over at me and she's like <laughs> <laughs> so he said to do it at least three days a week at least and that's like a hundred swings a day whenever you're out there so he's going to be doing at least three days a week but Besides, his coach couldn't eat dinner until he yeah, went out he there said his dad made him swing at least a hundred swings a day Every single day before dinner, or else he couldn't eat dinner. So <laughs> we're not going to be that mean. He said he was really tough on him, but it made him a better hitter, and he's glad he did because it, it helped him get drafted and make it to the minor leagues. And then he got injured and never could play again. <laughs> but overall, it was a good. It was good practice. Like he he pointed like he went through each kid. Like see, two of the kids, Jacob and uh, Carter, have been on my teams before, and I've watched them. And I knew that there's flaws in their swing, but he pointed out there's flaws. Just like that, like he got he got him to swing like maybe five times, and he came up to him, talked to each one individually, like for ten, all the kids he did to all of them. But those two, he he like was showing them what they were doing wrong. And he was like, okay, start your swing. We're gonna do it slow motion. Do exactly what your regular regular swing is. And he would point out the flaws. Like with Jacob, he doesn't open his hips up enough, and his back foot doesn't get the complete turn. His, his back foot's hard to explain. His back foot doesn't twist completely to allow his hips to open up. And once he gets once he does that. He said he's gonna be he's gonna be crushing the ball. He said he could see it, uh, and when he did it a few times, he did it exactly like he said. He crushed the ball. He hit it hard. He drove the ball hard, like straight out the middle or out to the it would have been to the outfield. And he said like, by by the time he finishes with him, that he's gonna be a really good hitter. <laughs> so he made a promise. Yeah, he did. So practice went well. Yeah, went well. It was good. Good, good job by the coach and good job by Jacob working hard and just listening to him because he did listen there at the end he was getting tired so he wasn't doing it as much as what what he was in the beginning but I mean when you swing what <laughs> at least 200 times in a right minute, they kept know? going from one cage yeah, to the other you, one cage to the get other tired at their, they're only 11 so yeah, yeah, I'll get that too. and I just want to say thank you guys and gals 
for all the great comments and stuff you left on yesterday's video. It's it really does mean a lot to me because I read every single comment, even, even when I don't reply over the years. I've read every single comment that's come into my channel, good or bad. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys. It, it means a lot to me. Uh, it's not something I can turn on or off, just like I told you. There's going to be days that you're just going to see Amy and the kids. And, and you'll understand why. <laughs> and now you guys know why. And just hopefully you guys understand it a little bit better. <laughs>